and today I'm going to be doing the vintage tag. Um, I thought it would be like a sort of get to know me tag as well because um, you'll learn my likes and interests. So, question number one. Who are your style icons? My style icons are Ginger Rogers, Jean Tierney, um, Lauren Bacall, um, Joy Shelton, she's an English actress from the 1940s, she's amazing, I love her. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Number two, what is your favourite way to get inspired? My favourite way to get inspired is definitely Tumblr, I love Tumblr. You just get really good images on there, um, and quite a few times I've seen pictures of like 1940s street style, which I really love looking at that because you know it's like really genuine, um, what people really wore, not just models from there at that time. So yes, Tumblr, and my link for Tumblr will be in the um, description box. Number three, what's your most used hair tool? My used hair tool is definitely my brush or a comb or a bobby pin. Um, I don't use anything fancy. Um, yeah, just a normal brush or comb. Um, number four, what's your favourite hair tool? Um, brush probably because um, if you don't brush your hair then you just look skanky really. Number five, up, do, down or half and half? Um, I do like my hair down but I also like it half and half, like half rolled, half down. So I'd probably say half and half. Number six, vintage is vintage something you do every day on weekends or for special occasions? Um, I do vintage every single day. Um, I do, I dress 1940s every day, but I know that some people just do it for reenacting or just like 1940s weekend. I don't do that. Um, apart from work, because I have to get up at four in the morning, so I don't do my red lippy or my rolls or anything. I just get up and go. Um, yeah, so that's that. What's your fa number seven? What's your favourite blush or lipstick? My favourite blush or lipstick. Um, my favourite lipstick is this one. It's by Calvin Klein. It's called Ruby Red, and it's just this gorgeous red colour. I'm wearing it on my lips now, and I also use this as my blush as well because I don't really like um, powdered blush. Um, I don't think it stays on as long and um, also you should match your lipstick with your blush so you might as well just use your lipstick as your blusher and that's what I do so that's that. Um, number eight, dress, skirt or pants, heels or flats? Um, definitely dress because I just wear, I wear dresses every single day apart from today because I'm wearing a skirt. And trousers, I do not wear trousers a lot. I think they're for men. <laughs> um, heels or flats? I have to say both because I have heels, but I also have flats as well, and I just wear them both. But I do like a nice heel. I don't wear um, these ridiculous heels that these girls wear nowadays, where they're like that tall. I just wear little ones. So they're really easy to walk in. Um, number nine, off the rack or homemade? Um, probably definitely off the rack because my sewing skills are definitely not up to scratch. I'm starting to learn to knit but so far I cannot knit patterns. That just confuses me but I'm learning. So definitely off the rack. I don't have I don't feel guilty about that. I would love to make my own dresses one day though. I do have a pattern but I just can't do it. So, um, in the future I shall do that. Number ten do you swing dance? No, I don't swing dance, but I really want to. There are so many classes around where I live and I just don't go to them. And I think I should start because, you know, all girls in the 40s, they all knew how to dance, especially when the GIs came over. Um, you know, they all learned to swing dance and everything, so, yes. Number 11, 
extreme vintage or subtle touches? Um, I wouldn't say I dress subtly vintage. I don't. I'd say extreme vintage, but I'm not extreme vintage as in everything has to be genuine vintage. But I like to look like I'm from that era. Number twelve. Favorite favorite perfume. My favorite perfume is Flowers Barrow, and it's by Lush, and it's just so nice. It's um, it's inspired by winter walks, and it's very um, vanillary on me. And then sometimes it can go quite grassy. And it all their perfumes, their new perfumes. In you know any person you put it on, it will be completely different to the other person. Um, they like sort of um, change to each person's reaction to it on their skin but oh I just love it so much and it's got geranium oil, rose, blackcurrant and chamomile so yes that's definitely my favourite I love that um, number 13 favourite skincare product my favourite skincare product is Boots Cold Cream <coughs> excuse me I use this every single night to take off my makeup it's amazing for eye makeup and lipstick and everything it just gets it all off and cleanses your skin and it really does leave it, leave it, leave it so soft um, so yes definitely that I'll be using this for the rest of my life and it's really cheap as well actually and I, have, I haven't tried ponds but I just thought I'd get the Boots one because I think it has less chemicals in it. Um, so, mm -hmm. that is that. Number 14. What does your family think of your style? Um, my family like my style. They're, they don't hate it or anything. They have nothing against it. Um, I think my mum quite likes it. Um, so, yes. Yeah. Number 15, favourite accessory. My favourite accessory is definitely my watch. It's, um, I'll show you. It is. It's from Urban Outfitters and it's just got an E on it. Um, and it was just really cheap off their site. It was in the sale. It was £10 instead of 27 or something. And I thought, oh, I need a watch, I'll get that. And now I wear it every single day. You know, I really, really like it. I do have another watch, but I sort of save that for special occasions. It's um, this one, and it's really lovely. It doesn't actually work yet, but I'm going to get it fixed. Um, but if I don't get it fixed, then I'm going to put a, um, I'm going to take all the like clockwork out and everything, and put a picture in it. Um, the lady in the charity shop where I got this, she recommended that, which I thought was such a cute idea. So I'm going to do that. But I would say that my summer favourite summer accessory are these glasses. Um, I got them off eBay. They were £4. And I absolutely love them because they're um, the genuine style that I go for. So that question... Number 16, do you find the vintage community welcoming or snobby? Um, I don't actually know because I've never been to any huge events before. There was just there was one small event in my town. And they weren't unwelcoming, but they weren't snobby either. I don't really talk to anybody of them, any of them, so I'd say welcoming probably. But I'll probably find out um, if I go to some events. Number 17. What drew you to the vintage style? Um, since a young age, I've always been interested in World War II. Um, at primary school and secondary school, I was always so excited when we started doing that project. Um, and then it just sort of grew from there. And I decided to dress like it. I've been dressing like it for about two years now. Um, and yes, I also, I think I watched um, Time Warp Wives once. And I think it must have been about 14 when it came out. 
I remember watching that and thinking, oh, I'd love to be like that. And I think that's sort of what set it off, you know, like a um, Okay, number 18. Favourite places to shop vintage? Um, charity shops. I don't shop in vintage shops because they're too expensive, they're overpriced, and you can get really lovely things in charity shops for much less. And even if it's not genuine vintage, it doesn't matter because it, you know, it can still be a style or whatever area you're into. If it looks nice, what does it matter? I don't. I'm not like a big person about, oh, it has to be genuine 1940s. That would be lovely to have something like that, but um, I don't have the budget for it, so yes. Charity shops, definitely. They're my favourite place to go ever. And you can have really good rummage as well, and I love going there for um, crockery and everything. I have a whole, I have like my bottom drawer, which is like full of vintage crockery, but it didn't cost a vintage price. Um, number 19, what vintage eras are your favourite? 1940s, um, I love late 30s to early 40s, they're my favourite eras, but um, I really like 20s and Edwardian times, but I just tend to stick to dressing in the 40s era because I think that suits me the best, but I do like other eras, um, I really become um, liking the early 50s. Um, probably because of Call the Midwife, this show on BBC in England, if you're from a different country. It's so good, amazing storylines, and um, really sort of authentic um, period costume. So um, yeah, that's got me into the sort of 50s, but definitely 40s, I stick to. Um, number 20, most glamorous film stars. I'd say Ginger Rogers is quite glamorous because of all the ball gowns she wore and everything. Um, I don't know, I just think they're all really glamorous. Because they're all just so beautiful and um, elegant. I think it's just such an elegant era. So, yeah. Um, 21. Favourite vintage object that you own? My favourite vintage object is my vintage mirror. Um, I got it from a charity shop and it has a brush and a um, clothes brush to go with it but I just absolutely adore it. It's so pretty, the embroidery on it and the handle's really lovely as well. So I love that and that's the only genuine piece of vintage stuff I have apart from my furniture because all my furniture's from the 40s because I'd rather spend my money on that than clothes so my wardrobe, my bed and my bureau all from the 40s as well. So they're my favourite. Um, number 20, what is that accent? My accent is English um, but I'm quarter Scottish but I don't speak with Scottish accent. So that is the end of the tag. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to comment and thumbs up and hit the subscribe button that would be greatly appreciated and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!